Why, yes, I did get a nice new rug from Ruggable. Not sponsored, by the way, but uh, these are apparently 100% machine washable. So yeah, I think it's a nice new addition to the apartment. All right. Oh, Jesus. Did you hear that? Did that come through on the mic? Oh. <laughs> this is, this is 37, baby. Fine, fine wine, fine wine. We're aging like fine wine, but devs. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Derek. I'm a front end developer based out of Los Angeles. And in today's video, it's just gonna be another uh, little chill vlog for you guys. So come hang out. I'm gonna go down the road to downtown Santa Monica. I'm gonna find a nice cafe and just take some time and just work on my app. I'm gonna try to get at least a few things done there. I've just been reading through the documentation of Next.js and yeah, there's there's a lot I don't know. But I think I'm just gonna continue working on the sidebar portion and I've already set up the routes and the pages and everything. So I'm just gonna continue with that piece. But that is the plan. It is just after 9 a.m. So yeah, I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna go to Mudwater. What, what? What is mud water? Well, I'm glad you asked. It's basically just like a coffee alternative. It's made with mushrooms. It has like lion's mane and cordyceps, and it's supposed to be good for like focus and concentration. And it is stimulant free, so there's no caffeine. I try to do like a no caffeine day one to two times a week, just as like a little reset. But I'm gonna hit up that place, bring the laptop, and just get some work done. Also, I wanna bring my camera gear and just go down to like the boardwalk, the beach area, and just get some nice like B roll shots. It's typically just like random footage that I just use here on the channel. I haven't done that for a while, so I just wanna get some new stuff that I can use for just miscellaneous intros or like whatever whatever the fuck. So again, that's the plan. I just had breakfast. I'm gonna get dressed and get ready and then head out. So feel free to, feel free to come hang out. done a fit check for a hot second. You know, keeping things monochromatic. All right, that's good enough. Got something kind of spun up, kind of kind of working. 
I did get a couple of compilation errors, mainly with the CSS preprocessor that I'm using. I'm using SAS. I like to use SAS on basically any project I can. Once you learn the CSS preprocessor, you you just there's no going back basically. So I got over that hurdle. Now the next thing I'm trying to tackle is just like best practices for like folder structure, like where to keep components, stuff like that. But this is this is humbling. I, I'm not touched an application like this for a very long time. I am definitely out of date. I was just reading the documentation and even the official React documentation says that, uh, hey, just uh, just use a framework. Here's an XJS, just use that. Because apparently Create React app has been deprecated by the React team. And I just, I wasn't even aware of that. So that tells you a lot of, of where I'm at. But hey, this is, we, we, we building in public, baby. We're learning, we're learning. Okay, but the SAS and all of the styles are compiling. I've got all the partials and everything broken up. I've got my home page and the router set up with all of my routes. And I've just been consulting uh, GitHub Copilot here just for like miscellaneous stuff. So that's been very helpful. But now that I've got like a decent idea of like where things live and like how the router works and, and all of that, I'm basically just gonna continue building the sidebar and just dive into actually building out the UI. So I will check back in later. Okay. Not that impressive, uh, not that impressive. Ran into another compilation error, but managed to get through that. Um, but I at least got all of the fonts installed. So obviously I'm going with Poppins there. That is what I use in the design, but hey, slow progress is still progress. So yeah, I've got to, I've got to be, I got to be nice to myself because this is the foundational process, right? Like it's never going to go pretty setting up an app from scratch like this. Like there's always bound to be issues, right? Like I said, it's, it's the foundational stuff. You know, I'm laying the groundwork for an entire project. So something is, something is like bound to mess up, but this is still some decent progress. This is really the first React project I've touched in maybe two years and I've never messed with Next.js. So, I mean, I, I don't think it's a bad start. It's a little after five. I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna commit and push this code to the repository. And then like I mentioned earlier, uh, I'm gonna go back down to the beach area. I'm gonna bring my camera gear and just get some sweet B-roll and just get outside, enjoy the nice weather and get some cool shots. So let's go. So building in public, yeah, it can be a little intimidating, but there is absolutely nothing wrong with showing your work, breaking stuff, and just learning as you go. This actually reminds me of something I read recently in a book called The Art of Focus by Dan Coe. In this book, there's a chapter called The Vessel, and in this chapter, Dan talks about the importance of having a project for the sake of skill acquisition. My goofy little cafe tracker app is just that. It's my project, my vessel. So if you're thinking about starting something, my advice is to just scratch that itch and do it. Document it. Have absolutely no shame in your game and just put it out there because, hey, we all suck at something until we don't. So that's going to do it for this one, devs. If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you hanging out. If you enjoyed this be sure to hit that like button uh maybe leave some of your thoughts in the comment section down below and i will catch you in the next one take care Bye.